All right, there's only so much that you can learn from something. There's only so much. This can even go into uh, doing a hallucinogen. If you do a hallucinogen one day, you know, you're going to gain a number of you know, new ways of, of looking at things. Um, unless you're one of these people who the only reason why you do hallucinogens is to all oh, look at the pretty colors and the trippy things, but you don't actually do it to learn anything. I think that's kind of sad, but um, you, know, you can do it one day. And if you do it a week from then, you're not going to get shit out of it. You already got what you could that one time. Now it's time to wait a few years so you process information differently and when you come back to this again you can apply it to the way you process information now and you can open up some more doors that way, right? So, but you have to wait enough time to come back to a subject, to come back to an approach to gain anything more out of it. And I feel that a lot of stuff that is on YouTube now is kind of, it, it's become that way. I, I talked earlier in, in a video, I don't know how long ago, it was a couple months ago, about how, you know, some of the reason why things, uh, so many atheists have switched to talking against uh, the whole SJW thing is because the Christian talking about atheism versus Christianity has gotten uh, just old it's gotten boring and but now almost all these subjects have been talked about ad nauseum it's the same arguments over and over again against the same arguments over and over again once you've once you've heard them a couple hundred fucking times you know oh let, let me congratulate you look you, you said something that someone else said uh you know, oh, you said it a bit shorter. Oh, you took three hours to say it. Oh, you must be really thorough. Congratulations. I mean, <sighs> theists versus anti-theists, atheists versus Christians, atheists saying that Islam is absolute evil, and if you don't agree with them that Islam is absolutely evil, you're a regressive pussy. You've got, uh, I mean, yes, there, there are problems with things, but, it, you know, I'm sure there will be people, well, you know, it really is this way, and it really, I don't fucking care anymore. This shit is old. How many fucking times can you say this shit, you know, oh, oh look, I, I said it slightly differently. Look, look at me, look at me, everyone, look at me. I talk about the same subjects, this, using the same arguments, but look, I worded it just a little differently. Oh, look, I'm meaner than the rest. Look, I can get all these subscribers because I'm extra mean. Yay. Same arguments over and over again. Then you have, you know, you got these people that will make these ponage videos and you know, you, you'll ask them, you know, what was the, you know, what do people get out of this? And some people will actually say, well, you know, if they watch the video, they might, they might uh, learn something about how wrong their belief is. I'm like, you think someone is going to get something out of uh, a video that's mostly insults? They're, they're, you think the person's going to listen? I mean, they're... We complain about feminist utopias. We complain about libertarian utopias. Um, why don't we complain about some of these utopias where people think that if you insult them uh, over and over again and are nasty to them, that they'll, they should just, well, they should still have an open mind. No! <laughs> no, that doesn't work that way. Humans don't work that way. It's going back to the, oh, well... Society should uh, fallacy, or society shouldn't fallacy, shouldn't be fallacy. Well, you know, think, well, you know, if things weren't the way they are, well, if things weren't the way they are, they'd be different. Just, just fucking idiocy. And then, you know, most of the time when, when one of these more popular YouTubers do make a video against someone, 
uh, that's a small channel, uh, swarms of, of the, the fans of the, the person who made the response video uh, will go to that originating person's channel and t just start telling them how stupid they are, how idiotic they are, and, uh, well, you'll never learn, and you, and it's just like, well, if you're constantly insulting this person, they, they're not going to learn. You're, you're, you're right. You're right. They're not going to learn. If you're not even attempting to have any sort of decent conversation, but then there will be some people, well, I'm trying to have a good conversation, yeah, between hundreds and hundreds of other posts of the, just making fun of someone. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be wanting to search through that stuff to find. Well, you know, they sh if they really wanted to learn, they would. Well, that sounds just like the feminists saying, "Well, you need to, you need to get educated and study feminist literature." I mean, it's no fucking different than that. Well, humans shouldn't be humans. Human nature shouldn't be human nature. Psychology shouldn't be psychology. And one of the things when it comes to the SJW thing, why isn't anyone talking about what causes people to become SJWs in the first place? Well, you know, they just think they're special snowflake. Yeah, but where did it start? To me, where it starts is elementary school. That's where it starts. You know, the schools where uh, that have all these policies and all these ways they do things because they're scared that the parents of the kids are going to sue them. So they've tried, they've found almost a foolproof way of uh, not getting sued or having, not necessarily foolproof, but, you know, the opportunity to sue the school is reduced at the cost of the kids' education, at the cost of the mindsets of these kids being fucked up over this shit. You know, everyone's a winner. Uh, let's reset the score if two, one, one uh, team makes too many points. Um, uh, playgrounds that are like enlarged toddler toys. Um, everything you do is wonderful. Um, you know, competition is bad. Um... I mean, all this stuff, all this stuff gets pounded into these kids' heads in elementary school. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about our Sue Happy Society that causes all this shit. No, let's just start, let's just call these SJWs, all these names. Oh, it feels so good. Look, I'm so smart because I can make fun of these SJWs. Yay. Where are we trying to find any solutions? I don't see it happening. It's just the same arguments from one on this side and this side. Same arguments over and over and over again. Yay, you know? So I, I, I start looking at, uh, you know, l l let's look, I, I past few days, I'll, I'll look at my feed and going, there's nothing interesting here. This video is going to be this same, this sort of thing. Oh look, uh, D fucking win heterosexual Pride Day, and he, he's trying to be all edgy like he was with the Confederate flag videos. Yay, I'm so edgy. Uh, look, two hundred and fifty uh, dollar iPhone case. Yay. Um. Uh, before the misogyny, a look into Bering's past. Yay, let's make make some. I'm I look I'm really I'm actually lighthearted let me do this stuff okay fine you know it it's it, it, I guess it could be considered mildly funny to me it's about as funny as these uh as uh feminist comedians you know um yeah some people find it funny there's the what else happens when you what when you show a woman her female privilege and uh, it's uh, taking lots of clips from an ABC documentary on a woman who uh, for 18 months uh, lived as a man and, and was trying to just, you know, gather information and social things, real, um, a real sociology, real studying uh, firsthand, uh, you know, how people are treated, how, how guys get treated in the dating community, what, uh, you know, that sort of thing. The video that uh, Darwinian Thought took from was 
was a very thought-provoking video. It's 10 years old, but it was a thought-provoking video. And he left out a whole section of, of that video that talked about some of the things that would normally be associated with feminism. Uh, there wasn't very much of it, but, you know, the outcome was still that the idea that women have a lot of privilege. And this woman in this video was like, well, I would prefer to have the, the uh, privileges of women than uh, what guys have to go through. So, you know, she was happy to go back to her normal life. Um, that video was good. Uh, Darwinian Thoughts video on it. I mean, it, it brought it up. I was glad that I, could, I was able to find the originating video. Um... Is Donald Trump's campaign broke? Will California legalize marijuana? Um, oh boy, here's Live Life's video about David Pakman. And David Pakman made a video that was talking about a number of news articles that are displaying a, a, a study that was done showing that uh, there's a lot of racists within Trump supporters. There was some sort of study done and uh, right off the bat, Live Life is like, uh, why did he? Why did David Pakman have to feature this image of someone with a Trump sticker and a Confederate flag in the background? He could have used a different image. Why did he use that image? Why did he use that image? You know, it's just like um, at Live Life. If you'd actually had done any bit of research on this, you would have seen that the uh, the articles that talk about this, that David Pakman got this information from, feature that same image. That's where he got the image from. But, you know, he thinks when he does this, he's pwning David Pakman. Okay, fine, whatever. It's more about how evil black people are. The message of black people need to commit less crimes. And if you don't agree, then you're a regressive pussy. Just like if you don't say that Islam is evil, you're a regressive pussy. You know, a number of people on YouTube shove forth this kind of message. Um... You know, the man with a 44-pound arm. Uh, roller coaster videos. There's the video that I, of course, watched. Uh, uh, Boogie 2988 and the Belly Sex uh, with Pimp Monk. Of course I watched that. Why wouldn't I watch that? Um, just, oh, here, here's, here's uh, Sargonomics. Um, with uh, uh, Rich, uh, Dick Coughlin, uh, where, you know, I, I haven't watched it yet, but I'm guessing it's just, you know, uh, almost 12 minutes of him finding new and inventive ways of making fun of Sargon of Akkad. Um, uh, musicless movie scene, ghost, pot pottery scene. That was, uh, that was pretty good. I do want to watch Laura... Uh, Laura Lee Law's video on straight talking. I want to see that. Um, Undoomed making a video. Uh, uh, Black Lives Matter snowflake is triggered by GIFs. And it's yet another one of these things where, again, sometimes Undoomed videos are funny. Sometimes I like to watch them just to see what the newest way that people make fun of uh, others is. And this one was another example of someone who doesn't have very many... Uh, 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 videos, they don't have very many subscribers, and they said something really stupid, and undo Undoomed, you know, does all this stuff, and then when you go to the person's original video, it's filled with Undoomed's fans, telling the person how stupid they are. Okay, fine. What are we supposed to get out of this? Is this has this not gotten old for a number of other people? Do you just, is it just, is this really interesting to you? This, these same arguments, the same, let's just, oh, we make fun of people, uh, same arguments about the same subjects over and over again. Is this fun? Is this interesting to you? Is it really? I mean, we, we talk about how mundane uh, network television is. And then we turn around and, and we, we just talk about the same, you know, five or six subjects the same way over and over again. Yay, yay. I mean, just... Uh.
just what are you getting out of this and the sad truth is some of these channels that are putting out the uh, puerile stuff is more interesting than this shit that shouldn't be but really what's the difference between these you know point taking some people's videos and talking so showing how stupid they are what's the difference between that and like someone a channel like ray william johnson uh uh making fun of people doing other stupid types of thing well what's the difference why is the ray william johnson one considered for the uneducated and yet all these other ones where people the whole point is to point out how stupid someone is and that's for the educated just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense.